Valley City, kudos to them. Hardworking team, very fundamental. Know, they know who they are, and they play to who they are very, very well. Um, I thought that between the emotional game that we came off of on Friday uh, and their meaning Valley City State's uh, intensity and urgency kind of caught, caught us on our heels a little bit, and that's something that we can control. Um, so I thought we didn't set the defensive tone the way we were capable of, and up until this point, that defensive urgency, that defensive intensity has tra directly translated into our offensive pace. Uh, so that's something that uh, Valley City State was able to take away from us, and we struggled a bit. Actually, starting right after halftime, I challenged them in the locker room, and, and our defense intensity and urgency picked up, uh, limiting some shots, uh, limiting their threes, limiting their three-point makes. Um, so I was happy as the second half went on, and I think what you're referring to in that fourth quarter was our, finally we kind of got over the hump and, and played how we're capable of. Riley Nudell, great game from her. It seemed kind of scrappy. It seemed like, Wherever the ball was, it seemed like she was, and kind of what you saw. And yes. Kind of Riley Nudell is somebody that we need on the basketball floor. Uh, she's an incredibly smart basketball player. She works her tail off. Um, she's got a diverse skill set. Tonight you didn't see the three. Tonight you saw all the rebounds in the interior play. Um, but she's somebody that it's, uh, it's, it's fun to see. She's been so consistent for us all year. And tonight was just another example. And uh, really kudos to her and her hard work. Just head on the road over Thanksgiving. What do you take away from this, and what do you do moving forward to prepare? You know, what we talked about in the locker room was, for the first time in quite some number of years, this program is 4-0. And how do we handle that? Uh, we're not complacent. There's certainly things we can work on. Uh, but we need to also be excited and carry our heads high and, and our shoulders back um, because these young ladies all came here to do something that hadn't been done in a while. And we're on that path. Uh, and, and so it's buckling down and having a solid practice on Tuesday before we head out to Annapolis, uh, flying to D.C. And some of our young ladies haven't been uh, to Washington, D.C. before. So being able to have an experience, uh, thanks to basketball, uh, before we start the preparation for the Na for Navy. Okay, so our defense probably wasn't – this was not our best defensive game. And I think they kind of saw that and they took it to us on their offense. And then in the second half – we just had – we really focused – like our offense is going to flow, so if we focus on our defense and getting multiple stops in a row, that's when we go on runs and that's when we get ahead. Uh, do you feel like the pace you guys play at that fourth quarter, they seem to be getting a little more tired than you? Yeah, I do. I, I do think that we ran them and they got tired. Uh, Riley, good night for you. Uh, I think you had seven or eight boards, um, 11 points, I believe. Um, what, was, what was kind of the mentality and how nice is it to be the one that's getting the hard points tonight? We just had to go into the game like not thinking that they were going to give it to us and play it like a regular game. And so, I don't know, just like having that attack mentality and being aggressive, then um, other things come a lot easier. Uh, what do you guys need to do moving forward? You're traveling the Navy this week. What do they present and how do you guys prepare? Um, we haven't talked about the teams that we've played yet, but um, we just need to lock in the next couple of days in practice and not be satisfied and just focus on the little details.